my beloved child. In this month you will be surrounded by abundance, and you shall prosper in all aspects. Pay heed to this complete message, and do not disregard the advice I offer. Cling to these words, so you awaken each morning in tranquility and serenity, with an invincible spirit and supernatural peace. During this month, you will triumph. Your dreams and goals shall come to fruition. You will not end this year empty-handed. However, make the decision to believe in me. Place your right hand upon your heart and give me your commitment to seek me every day, no matter what challenges arise. I know you wrestle with discouraging thoughts, and that's why I address you even as storms may rage within your heart. Anxiety may knock at your door, taunting you, and telling you that you will not reach your goals. You shall endure. You will not heed its voice. Do not allow defeat and failure to enter your mind. You were born for triumph. Fix your gaze upon those things that are more valuable than material possessions and personal achievements. Look after your family. Ensure their well-being. Do not allow past disputes to linger in your home as a new year begins. This month, discord shall come to an end if you seek me daily with fervent faith. My glory will reign in your home. My majestic presence will cast out all forces of darkness that seek to divide your family and rob you of happiness. Lean on me. Rise and continue on your path without fear. You will conquer all those who oppose your destiny. The trials you face are transient, but to receive your victory, you must confront them without fear. You will be unharmed, for my spirit is your shield, and my powerful word is your sword. Keep walking, and if you pause, let it be for prayer, meditation, and rest. Spend time with me every day, for there are many things I wish to share with you. You must understand and believe with all your heart that you are important. Your faith is precious, and your life is precious. You must believe me, and ignore those who have long deprived you of your significance and value. I see you with eyes of love. I am your father, and to me you were, are, and will always be important. I will repeat this to you many times, for I want the affection you feel in my words to be etched in your heart. When you open your eyes at dawn, may you sense my presence by your side, and may you rejoice in these tender details that make you feel how much I love you. Your life will soon be impacted by a miracle so powerful that it will transform you and your family completely. I fulfill my promises, and you have believed in them with faith. One day, I told you to cry out to me, and I would answer. That wondrous response is on its way. You are about to witness it. Read my word once more. Receive my instruction so you may know how to defend yourself and face your enemies when they come to steal the blessing I bestow upon you. You know there are people who seethe with anger and envy when they see you prosper. They do not like to see you smile, nor do they want your family to remain united and overflowing with happiness. Therefore, I want you to speak with me daily and feed on my word. Fill yourself with wisdom and prudence and let your senses be alert. The past months have been challenging, I agree, but your faith has surprised me. You faced many problems with courage, defeating all your adversaries. Thus, in this month that begins, your heart is not empty. It overflows with love, encouragement, and motivation. In the remaining weeks of this year, you will witness more blessings than you have seen before. Powerful events will unfold before your eyes, greater than any you have experienced. Believe in it firmly, for it is true. Step outside with faith, knowing you carry my promise of victory with you. And may that beautiful smile on your face reflect your attitude, courage, authority, and my power. 
this message bestows upon you an unbreakable strength. Write with your own hand and tell me that you believe. Confirm how my Holy Spirit embraces you and aids you in rising with great enthusiasm to walk the path of triumphs and victories. Obey my word, fulfill my will, and proceed with great valor and faith. Tell me that you receive this word with love, that you believe it. Stand up, extend your hands, and receive the marvelous blessings I will grant you this month. The storm shall cease. The dark clouds that surrounded you are dissipating. I cover you with the power of my blood. Your enemies are fleeing in terror. No witchcraft, sorcery, curse, slander, or falsehood shall ever hold power over you. I heard you when you cried out in your despair, when your boat was sinking in the waters of fear. I have come to command the sea and the storms to calm. The forces of evil saw you fallen and decided to exploit your weakness. It is true that you made a mistake that opened the door to iniquity, but you forgot something essential. You belong to me. My hand guards you and will never release you. I love you and I will be with you always. I will not change my opinion. I come to grant you freedom. I do fulfill my word. Please do not say that you cannot believe me. Do not hold on to the painful past and do not allow those dark thoughts of death into your mind. I will say it again. You belong to me. I am your friend, your advocate, and I come to defend you and present the evidence for your liberation. You will leave the prison of depression. I will uproot the root of your despair. I will anoint you with the oil of joy. I lay my hands upon your thoughts today, and I heal your life. Rest, cry, let it out, and tell me everything you are feeling. Speak aloud or in silence, write it down, or let your thoughts flow. Your suffering ends today. You do not have to wait until tomorrow. Right here, in your room, I embrace you with love, and I heal you with my love. This is a miracle. You hear my voice, your soul is being healed. This is real. You are not imagining it. Now, do your part. I want to see your faith and loyalty when you leave your house to face the day. I will change your countenance of sadness into one of joy. Do not be ashamed for others to see you filled with enthusiasm. You will no longer be swayed by criticisms, and I will not allow their negative words to affect you. Live your life. Take care of your family. Give importance to your spiritual life. Do not underestimate this opportunity. You will no longer carry those burdens on your shoulders. You can now move forward with agility. If you ever grow weary, I will lift you up. I will hold you if necessary. Nothing can stop you now. The enemy tried to destroy you with the chains of the past, but I told you, you are mine, and I came to rescue you. Now, you have an abundance of life and the power to tread upon the forces of evil. Nothing will harm you. Your home is free. Your family is healthy. Quarrels and contentions will cease. I kindle a light in your home that cannot be hidden, and people from outside will see that my power reigns in your home. Many families you know will also be touched and healed. But I must warn you that many do not understand that you are no longer the same person they wanted to see defeated. They will now witness how I bless you, and their anger will intensify. They will curse and weep, ignorant fools who think their spells can harm you. No evil ritual has power over those I love. Let this be clear to you. Let them jump, scream, and twist in hatred, if they wish. If they repent of their wickedness, I will be waiting to forgive them if they abandon their sin. Focus on your life. I'm opening the path for you to ascend to a supernatural spiritual level with patience and without haste. You will finally live a clean, holy life surrounded by mercy and grace. You will not sin with your tongue 
and you will not allow lies or malice into your home. The storm has ended. Give me your hand, and you shall walk on water as I do. If attacks come again, if you see dark clouds and approaching tempests, do not fear. Have confidence. I will hold you firmly, and nothing will harm you. You will never return to the waters of despair. The threats of the Devourer will have no power over you. I love you. Feel calm and secure. Under my holy protection, my promises do not fail. My word is true. Those blessings you have awaited are coming soon. You will receive them. I put them in your hands, and all anxiety will vanish forever. Your anguish and worry will be gone. You have trusted in my word, and from the first time I heard your voice and your desperate cry, I sent you the answer your heart desires. Many become disheartened because they expect an immediate response to their prayers. Everyone must understand that I take joy in answering, but I must make changes in their lives first. I need to add wisdom to their character and put everything in order so that the long-awaited blessing does not become a burden. At times you ask for what you need, but I always give you much more. I consider your future and your family. I want your blessing to bring not sadness and tension, but only peace and joy. I made a covenant with you. I write my commandments in your heart and mind, and I forgive your sins remembering them no more. I remind your soul that in my presence there is comfort. At my altar there is healing. There is infinite strength for those who have faith and can wait with patience and without complaints for my promises to be fulfilled. Remove bitterness from your heart, cast out doubt from your mind, and do not listen to those tongues that mock your faith. If, at any point, you grow weary and anxiety returns, simply cry out to me, and I will grant you perseverance so you can wait. I will give you the gift of patience so your emotions remain steady and you will receive prudence to control your tongue, ensuring that no foolish words that offend my heart come from your lips. I pour out abundant blessings upon your life with love and tenderness, like a parent, nurturing their little one with affection. I await your gratitude and hope you never dare to demand anything from me with arrogance and pride. I want you to know that in this world there are many who do not show me the respect I deserve. But fear not, for I possess infinite patience, and with boundless love, I await them. Even when they raise their voices against me, playing with the dangerous fire of disbelief, I still hold hope in my heart for their return to me. It is indeed a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God, and I urge you to be cautious of those who rise against any of my humble followers. I understand that life may bring frustration when things don't go as planned, but remember, it has always been this way. My response to you is in direct proportion to your efforts, and conflicts and challenges will inevitably arise. At times, envious adversaries may suddenly challenge you, and it may seem like my response is delayed. But I promise you this, I will open your spiritual eyes and you will see that the situation is not as dire as it appears. Your blessing is right before you, waiting patiently, but you must move forward without looking back. Release any paralyzing feelings and thoughts if you wish to receive the blessings I have in store for you. To be blessed, you must endure tests. I want to witness the courage in your heart and your response when your expectations are not met. Will you continue to wait with joy in your heart, without complaint, or will bitterness consume you, wasting your time and effort as it does to others? I desire to see you grow strong, to love me with all your heart and the full strength of your mind. Even if my response seems slow and you must wait, 
I want to see that unwavering spirit I have instilled in you. I want to see a character stronger and more precious than a diamond. I want to see your loyalty to me, knowing that you will not betray your convictions for mere gain. You will not engage in dishonest acts, steal, or lie to escape trouble or hasten the resolution of your problems. It is through this path that true victories are achieved in the spiritual realm, and your desired blessings will come to fruition. Wait with unwavering faith, and do not allow doubts to freeze your patience. Pay no heed to the words of foolish people, and do not seek the counsel of unbelieving mockers. With love, I implore you to cherish these words in your heart. I am faithful, and I ask for your loyalty in return. Return to me each morning, and let these words strengthen your faith and fill you with peace. Do not fear, for I love you dearly, and your blessing is on the horizon. Speak these words with your voice, write them with your hand. Beloved God, I await you with all my heart. I have determined to bless you. When you call to me, I will answer. Your life will change, do not doubt it. I give you a new heart, and even those who know you will be amazed. Prepare to receive help from unexpected sources and be profoundly grateful, for many doors of blessing and new opportunities will open before you. Believe in these words and share them. Never forget to pray. It is not difficult to talk to me. Simply close your eyes and say, Lord, I need you, and I will be right there by your side. Have faith, for this is the truth. My presence will never abandon you unless you mock my grace or discard the blessings I bestow upon you. During these times of great confusion, do not allow hatred to enter your heart. Refrain from joining the wicked in speaking ill of those who have not harmed you and are not your enemies. Do not believe the senseless rumors you see, hear, or read. If someone comes to you with slander against another, do not readily accept their words. Do not fall easily into the traps set by the enemy. My eyes search for sincere, loyal, and faithful hearts, those who love me and respect my laws. I'm raising you to uplift others, encourage your family, and share these powerful and divine words, not to partake in the sins of others. I earnestly request that if you find my words difficult to understand, due to your concerns, take some time and listen to them again. Absorb all my messages, for it is my will that your heart comprehends this message I have sent to you repeatedly. You ask for peace and tranquility, and I will grant them to you. However, keep my words in your heart and recall them when the enemy roars like a lion, seeking to devour you and mock your faith. My voice guides you, and your spirit receives it. My word serves as a lamp to guide your steps and a light to illuminate your path. My commandments are sweeter than honey, providing you with the strength and courage to rise and conquer any challenge you encounter. No enemy shall harm you if you remain vigilant. And when the wicked come against you, do not be afraid, for I will grant you strength. Simply speaking these words with faith will cause all evildoers to flee. Your home will be free from misery, scarcity, and disease. No one shall stand against you throughout your life, as my word is firmly planted in your home, safeguarding your family. I wish to ignite your heart, open your eyes, and awaken your mind. Prepare to welcome countless blessings and ideas for it is time to conquer the land and reap the fruits of your sacrifice and effort. Everything you have experienced will not have been in vain. All that you do in your life will work for your good. Your family and you will witness great miracles, and you will understand the purpose I have for each of you. I say to you, and to all, never disrespect anyone, regardless of their age, stature, or background. Do not label as impure what I have already cleansed. Do not remind others of their past, 
for I have forgiven all. Support those you love and aid in their growth. In this way, I will bless you even more, as I desire these blessings to spread to others. From your heart will flow rivers of living water, bringing miracles, wonders, and healings to those you encounter on your path. They will find hope in your smile, and even those who do not follow me will acknowledge my reality and truth. Just as I have shown mercy to you, I will do the same for all those who turn away from wrongdoing and approach me with sincere hearts. Today, I shower you with love and grace. I have dispelled the dark clouds of despair and covered you with the shadow of my grace. Step out of your home, gaze at the sky, raise your arms, and proclaim to the four winds that I am your shepherd, your provider, and that you are determined to trust in me forever, faithfully following these words until the end. Do it now. Receive this healing anointing. Feel the strength I bestow upon you, and do not fear or falter. Keep moving forward sharing this word, and humbly thanking me in your heart for all the blessings I shower upon you. I will make you so strong that no one will dare to hurt you, so great that no one can reach you, and so humble and wise of heart that many will desire to be like you. Today, I tell you, comfort awaits you. I will breathe life into your fallen spirit at any time. Just speak to me with unwavering faith and I will demonstrate that I am attentive to your feelings and emotions. With a burning fire, I will consume the memories that persistently haunt you, reminding you of your past mistakes if you continue to allow them to control your thoughts. I forgive and forget, and I urge you to do the same. Forgive yourself, value the courage I have instilled in you, and treat yourself with kindness. Do not harm or discourage your own spirit by reproaching yourself. I am transforming you. You are not the same person as yesterday. I empower you to receive new blessings and to be so prosperous that you will bless even those who despise you. Every day, I am doing new things to build you up. I want you to do your part and focus on receiving this word that you hear. Use your faith. Do not reject these blessings simply because you feel unworthy or believe that you will never deserve them. Do not fall into the trap of relying solely on your own efforts for many busts of self-sufficiency but have never truly succeeded. They falsely claim perfection, belittling the humble and pointing fingers at them. Do not compare yourself to such individuals they may flaunt their travels and extravagant lifestyles, but they conceal their debts. You are not weak. Do not lose heart when you see others flaunting possessions you do not have, acquired through dishonest means. Do not be deceived by everything your eyes perceive. Not everything that gleams is gold, and not all the images of people displaying success and happiness are authentic. I beseech you once more, Cease scrutinizing the lives of others and immerse yourself in my word, which will strengthen you. Dedicate time to your family and your work. Dedicate time to me. Attend to your health and exercise prudence. Never forget the needs of those around you. I bless you so that you may be a blessing to others. And as you remain honest, committed to aiding the needy, and faithful to your calling, I will indeed bless you abundantly. Today, I speak directly to your heart. I intend to make you a person of unwavering strength so that no one shall ever dare to cause you pain again. You will feel my love every day and all suffering is now behind you. Believe in my word, receive this beautiful happiness into your soul. From this moment onward, what comes your way shall be success and blessings. I have a plan for you, and any opposition shall yield to it. You have heard my message. There is no longer a reason to gather mere crumbs while others waste away. 
You have your own blessings and a Heavenly Father who embraces you with love, healing you, uplifting you, prospering you, and constantly caring for you. Those who caused your stumbles will repent, and those who belittled you will learn a lesson they shall never forget for raising their hand against you. I defend those I love, and I will cause all your enemies to flee. I am clearing your path of obstacles and conflicts. I am here, speaking directly to your heart. Please seize this moment with me. Don't confine yourself to your room, drowning in the past that has slipped away like sand through your fingers. Instead, cry out to the wind, even though it cannot hear you, and stop yearning for the false love of those who scorned and tried to harm you. Do you love them more than you love me? Here, by my side, you will find life, a happiness you've never known, and an exquisite emotion you never imagined. I have a compelling purpose for your life. I am paving a path that leads to your dreams. Follow it. No need to look back. No one in your past loves you as deeply or desires your well-being as I do. I can bless you and guide you. Embrace the certainty of being loved and protected by a supernatural God. I'm not asking for riches. Gold, silver, or precious stones mean nothing to me. What moves my heart is your faith and sincerity. You desire change, to live life fully, to seize every moment, and use your talents to bless others, starting with your family. In your heart, you wish to proclaim to the world that there is love, forgiveness, salvation, a path, and truth. In my presence, they will find the strength to rise again and start anew. Leave the past behind. Make this decision for yourself. If you need assistance, tell me, and I will gladly extend my hand. I will remove all obstacles from your path, so do not be disheartened when you no longer hear the manipulative tongues. I gave my life on the cross to grant you freedom. You were never meant to live in emotional bondage. You will no longer miss the cries and disdain of false loves. I am granting you the spirit of love, self-control, courage, and honesty. If you must face people from your past or walk through the fires where you were once burned, fear not, I am by your side. I will silence the roaring lions, defeat your enemies, and lead you through the fire unscathed. Today, in my holy name, you will confront these conflicts, and in my Holy Spirit, you will overcome them. Tell me with faith that you believe in me. Activate your faith, nurture your soul with my word, and recall all my sacred promises. Your shield and sword are holiness when facing adversity. Who is with you? The Most High God, the Almighty, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, majestic in power and authority. He grants you the strength to conquer. Answer me. I want to hear you. Feel how these words ignite the faith that was once discouraged and rekindles the flames of your desire to triumph. Listen, receive, and believe. There is no bad habit or vice you cannot overcome. The enemy has no power over you. You must believe this, for neither witchcraft nor spells can harm you. Evil forces may surround you, but they only make empty threats. They want you to fear, for fear is the only thing that can stop you. Be courageous, brave heart. I am granting you my authority. Stand above the conflicts that seek to steal your happiness. Today your chains are broken. The discouragement that weighed you down, the emotions that battered you, the memories that hurt you, all these will end today. Give me your hand and let us walk together towards success and blessings. Come tomorrow, listen to me again, and I will give you even more living water from the eternal rock. My Holy Spirit will always fill you with my surrounding love and supernatural presence that will never leave you. I will say it once more because I know that when you hear it, you receive joy and peace. I love you. 
What concerns you is already resolved. It's better to entrust me with all your burdens, anxiety, and sorrow. My Holy Spirit embraces you and heals you with comfort in your heart, beautiful and powerful desires to live, to stand up, and to rise again, to conquer. Receive my forgiveness now. Forgive yourself for all the times your soul faltered and genuinely repent. I am not counting your faults, and I will not remind you of your past failures. I am erasing all that pain you no longer need. You are free and healed right now in my divine presence. You will always receive the answers you need and the power to conquer all obstacles and enemies. No problem or adversary is powerful enough to steal the happiness I have prepared for you. Believe it, even if you cannot see or feel it now. When these blessings knock at your door, it will be a wonderful day. You will be happy once again, like never before. From now on, I anoint you with holy oil, and my divine power will fill you more each day. Your strength will be renewed. You will learn my promises, know your purpose and goals clearly, and understand where to go and what to do to fulfill your mission. I am confirming that you have already passed through your most difficult years. What lies ahead will be a season of harvest, reaping many blessings and filling your storehouses abundantly. In the times that have passed, you experienced suffering. Bid farewell to many who departed temporarily. You thought your days were over, but today you can testify to your victory. There is nothing in your future that can rob you of your blessings. You will not be separated from me, for your convictions are now much stronger. You have learned from my word. You know me well. You understand what is prepared for you and your family. Everyone in your household is important, and they are all included in my plans. I urge you to be strong and courageous, to remind everyone in your home that these blessings do not come by luck or chance. Make it clear that these new times are the fruit of your faith, repentance, and firm decision to turn away from the past. You will never return to your past life. Everyone in your family can change. Some of them just need to seek me a little more. When they humble themselves, I will give them the sensitivity to know me, not just by hearing, but in a real and tangible way, in spirit and in truth. There are others in different households who also need to make important decisions, acknowledge their faults, and distance themselves from bad company. I am sending you to love and rescue them, not to judge or condemn them. If you truly love and trust me, you must learn this truth. All people can change. I offer a new life to those who can winly repent. Open your heart and give these people you love a chance. Pray for them and place them in my hands. Treat them well, and when you see them, let me work in their lives. I will not fail you. I will reveal many things in your dreams about your family. You will encounter people you haven't seen in a while on your journey. When they stand before you, smile, extend your hand, and deliver this message. I love you. I want to shape you. I know your thoughts, and I know you are discouraged. Tell them, today is the day of salvation, not yesterday or tomorrow. Today they must open their souls, confess their faults, and pray wherever they are. Pray for them even if it's a brief prayer. Bless them with joy. You are sowing a seed of faith in their hearts that will soon germinate and grow into a strong, tall tree. Obey me, believe me, and learn to live by faith. Your matters are already resolved. You can face life with peace. Starting today, significant miracles will begin to happen. You will raise your hands high and praise my holy name. May you feel great tranquility and receive these words deep in your soul. The time of suffering is ending. Sorrow and distress are coming to an end in my mighty name. You will overcome the affliction that has been tormenting you. 
you are hearing encouragement and joy filling you. Strength and courage come to you early every day, filling any void with infinite joy. Get used to being happy from now on and enjoy all the blessings I have already given you. Listen to me now and do not leave or ignore my words, which are for your well-being. I love you and always want to shower you with affection and fill you with holy comfort so you feel protected and blessed in the midst of trials. However, because I cherish you in my heart, I must share something vital for the healing of your inner self. Receive and accept these words I am about to give you. If you desire the doors and windows of heaven to open for you, if you long to cross the bridge to the divine and supernatural world, you must remove all complaints and negativity from your heart. I deeply appreciate your faith, but do not let the poison of complaint wither your sincere belief. Do not harbor negative feelings or pessimistic thoughts, for they can grow, and your beautiful faith can perish unexpectedly. Remove complaints from your lips. Distance yourself from friends who sow intrigue, doubt, and grievances. Seek wise friends. Decide today whether you will believe me or reject the good changes and blessings you will soon see. If you cast away complaint, choose faith, embrace hope, and reject negativity, beautiful things will occur. Blessings, provision, freedom, healing, family harmony, joy in your soul and a heart full of happiness are all on the way. All these gifts come to a heart that chooses to believe. Be courageous. Do not waste any more time. You cannot afford to forget what I am telling you. Do not commit the sin of playing with the grace and mercy you are receiving. Feed your soul with my word, saturate your heart with the honey from heaven, and receive the advice you are praying for. This is the time to put into action all the valuable lessons you've learned. I want to remind you of this every morning when you wake up. Your heart is attuned to my guidance, and if you don't sense my presence immediately, seek me out. You know where to find me. I am as close as your faith, always within reach through your prayers. Your heartfelt desires are important to me. If you desire to witness extraordinary miracles, you know what to do. Surrender your heart. Let go of negativity. Act justly and entrust me with the reins of your life. Be attentive to my voice, for I have been heralding powerful changes that will soon come to pass. The promises I made to you will be fulfilled, your debts will be cleared, and you will be provided with work and strength. Nothing is impossible for me, and during this time of growing closer to me, you've come to understand that my word is truth. It will come to fruition. It will never fail. Know this, my child. I love you deeply. Embrace the assurance of my presence. Share your doubts and grievances with me. Stop striving in your own strength. Allow me to bless you and reveal the depth of my love for you. I am always with you. My Holy Spirit will fill and guide you. Do you believe in me? Hold on to your faith. Trials are temporary. If you hold my hand and never let go, you will walk through these challenges with confidence and radiate my authority. I want many to know the truth. You were never abandoned by your Heavenly Father. Some may have denied you a chance to believe when you shared your struggles, while others may have turned away when you made mistakes. Yet no one, absolutely no one, came to comfort you because you had me. With your faith, sometimes strong and sometimes wavering, you persevered, and you will continue to do so. You will not be swept away by the raging currents. You will not sink. Your end is not yet. I want those tears that fall from your eyes to turn into tears of joy. Look ahead to the beautiful future awaiting you. Your hardships are coming to an end. You are on the brink of liberation, and when you feel free, you will run to me. We will embrace like a father and child, and I will take your hand once more. 
Our journey must continue, and even when your feet grow weary, the path ahead is clear. This is the moment. Let us not waste time. We must walk together into the beautiful chapters of your life. Open the windows of your soul. Let my light dispel despair. Release the fear that filled your heart in times of emptiness. I will uproot those stubborn memories. There's no space for anyone else. You've allowed me in, and I am here. With my own hand, I will inscribe your dreams in the Book of Destiny. I am the source of life. From the moment I created the universe, I had you in mind, and the angels in heaven rejoiced at your decision to give me your heart and place me first in everything. Beware of the enemy who prowls like a roaring lion, seeking to steal your joy, replace it with tears, and chain you in solitude. I am the way and the truth. You have received my Holy Spirit who will always guide you. Do not seek guidance from those who do not walk in my light. Instead, do this and prosper. Take me seriously. Give me the time I deserve. Open your Bible. I will speak to you through parables, revealing what you should avoid, sharing testimonies of miracles, and whispering my psalms and proverbs into your soul. Learn from my servants who, though they stumbled and were weak, their faith lifted them up and they believed in my promises. They silenced lions and conquered armies. Some endured persecution and had their possessions taken, but they did not give up because they knew me and had unwavering faith that my kingdom is not of this world, but of eternal life. I am the door through which you must enter, and here in my holy throne you will find love, understanding, healing, strength, sweetness, gentleness, wisdom, and patience. Do not seek affirmation and affection from this harsh world. Choose to believe in me, for I will never fail you. I declare new beginnings, while others lose hope and see their plans crumble. Nations divide, wealth fades, and opportunities vanish. You will continue dwelling in the shadow of the Almighty. Though a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, harm will not befall you. Judgment will not reach you. You have a secure place in my heavenly abode. Here and now, you will continue to be blessed. Your table will always be filled, and your deepest desires will be renewed, motivating you to work, learn, and pursue your dreams with all your strength, knowing that you have my assistance. Even if the world mocks and persecutes you, do not fear. When you feel weak and your hope falters, listen closely and you will hear me. I will rescue you from conflict, and those who wish you harm will flee. Remember and proclaim it loudly. Your trials are nearing their end. I'm embracing you with love, and I want you to feel that these words are more than just words. If I say it, you can believe it, for I always speak to you with tenderness and truth. What must I do to convince you? I will take your hand and bless you. I will express my love to you once again in a way that you will feel it deeply. You will sense the holy fragrance of this supernatural affection. I am removing your present worries and immersing you in a beautiful, wondrous, eternal, holy, and healing emotion. When you open your eyes tomorrow, you will not be the same. This beautiful emotion is called love, and if you haven't felt it before, get used to it, for I am filling your heart with joy and life. I love you, and this tender emotion will grow with each passing minute. Your peace will increase daily. Your entire being is transforming. The world seeks peace and freedom, yearning to escape disappointment and solitude. Yet, every time I extend my hand to them, they run in the opposite direction, rejecting this powerful love that can transform their lives, grant them courage and strength to pursue their dreams, and renew their will to live. I planted in them a feeling that tells them they are on the wrong path. They must return to me, to their home, and turn away from evil. 
feed on my word, embrace my commandments, in the world there will only be anguish and suffering. Your eternal life, divine peace and infinite happiness are here with me. I can say it again, I love you. Today, I will place small, beautiful details on your path. Sharpen your senses, feel, receive, perceive, feel again. Treasure this sweet emotion of eternal love that envelops you. This is something supernatural that goes beyond seeing and hearing. It's an inexplicable emotion that fills you, makes you feel like you're flying above the clouds, but it also transforms you. It removes what hinders you, and my power manifests not only in your emotions and feelings. The most powerful miracle is the transformation of your character and attitude. You will no longer be a tree without fruit, a flower without fragrance, or a river without water. You will no longer suffer from a double mind or a continuous cycle of mistakes. My glory surrounds you, and as I console you, I also provide you with wisdom. Do your part, come to me in faith and prayer with your hands extended, and I want to bestow my mighty blessings upon your life. I will continue demonstrating my love to you in many ways, as long as you live in this world. You and your family are important to me, both on earth and in heaven. My power will manifest, restoring and blessing thousands of families who receive this word. Every home that loves me will be illuminated by my divine presence. There are situations in your life that you can only overcome because I am with you. Do not accept doubt and discouragement in your mind. Do not heed them. I will remove all confusion swirling in your head. I will assist you patiently, ensuring you do not lose sight of what truly matters to you. What people say or think is not important, because your family and you are in my hands. I know where I am taking you, and even in times like these, I still hold the first place. You will love me, respect me, praise me, and obey me with all the strength of your mind, soul, and heart. My word must be heard in your home. Begin your day with a brief, sincere prayer. I understand that sometimes you are occupied with important matters, but do not let too much time pass before returning to talk to me. I want to guide you, and I will when you bring me your gratitude and faith. I will open your eyes, revealing the right paths that lead to success. I will show you the secrets that threaten your future, and I will give you signs. You will hear my voice. I will embrace you and your family. Together, we will navigate through conflicts and tribulations. Every morning, you will receive the assurance that my Holy Spirit and my supernatural power are within you. If I am with you, you can believe my word, and your blessings will not be lost. Honor me in everything you do. Be generous and the doors of heaven will open to you with abundant wisdom and serenity. True prosperity will rain down upon you, accompanied by riches that bring no sorrow. Opportunities that allow you to grow and provide peace will come to you. I speak to you of the wonders that abound, and I am ready to reveal them to you. Many voices may lay claim to divine insights, yet their actions bear no fruits of truth. They do not bear witness to my boundless love. Remember, no mortal possesses ownership of my divine word. Do not trade your future for empty promises. If your heart longs for love, patience, and wisdom, if you seek a deeper connection with me, come and I shall unveil my divine purpose for you. I am your guiding path, the embodiment of truth, and the source of life itself. I am your shepherd, your redeemer, your savior, your healer. I am your God and Lord. But do not forget, I am also your loving Father. I am pure love, and I desire your freedom, your triumph, your growth in knowledge. I do not wish for you to be ensnared by financial burdens. I care deeply for you, your family, every facet of your lives, both in the physical and spiritual realms. 
I yearn for your mental well-being. In my eyes, you are as precious as the apple of my eye. What more can I say to convey my truth? It is not solely about understanding. I desire for you to feel my presence, to harbor conviction in your spirit that I am real, that I love you unconditionally. Despite the trials you've faced, I have a grand purpose for you that transcends worldly riches and power. Earthly treasures are fleeting, but I offer eternal blessings, and soon you will witness them firsthand. Hear my words, but let them penetrate your very being. They are meant to mend and fortify you. Through my grace, you have been forgiven, embraced with affection, and met with understanding. Do not forget the dreams that once illuminated your room. Recall the excitement that filled your heart as you planned and envisioned your future. To me, it matters not that years have passed and your hair now bears the wisdom of age. You can still be filled with the same excitement for your dreams. I shall rejuvenate your spirit and recalibrate your priorities. Because of your unwavering faith in my word, and your relentless pursuit of me. I shall bless your body with health, renew your thoughts, and restore your youth. You shall rise, walk with joy, and move your body with the vigor of your youth. I shall instill in you a thirst for knowledge, and many will be amazed at your transformation. Tell me that you believe in me, acknowledge my love for you, and recognize my desire for your happiness your family's harmony, and a future filled. With abundant blessings, for I have the ability, and I yearn to make it so. If you have heeded my words thus far, prepare yourself. Shake off the dust of doubt, and leave behind the shadows of failure that have agid your spirit. You are not alone. Your love for me and your unwavering belief empower you. This is why you and your family shall serve as a testament to my divine power. I shall perform the miracle that you once thought impossible, the return of your happiness. I shall continue to arrange events to fulfill my promise to you. Allow my soothing voice to resonate deeply within you. Place your burdens in my hands and unburden your heart. Speak your desires and concerns in your prayers and I shall provide strength and solutions for each of your trials. I do not desire to see your soul shackled by fear. Trust in me as you kneel and offer your prayers. Your petitions ascend like doves and reach my heavenly throne. If doubt whispers that your prayers are in vain, that I have abandoned you and no one listens, do not give in. How could I forsake you? I vowed never to leave you. I reiterate this promise, even if the world abandons you, if family turns away, if friends drift apart, and all whom you love forget you. I remain here, ever vigilant, ready to meet your needs. As you read these words, may they fill you with tranquility, dispelling loneliness. My love envelops you, caressing your soul with my grace. I cherish you more deeply than you can fathom. I guide your steps, shielding you from hidden snares. Your unwavering faith moves me profoundly. I admire your steadfast devotion. I see your daily struggles, your concerns, and your selflessness, even when your kindness remains unacknowledged. Find solace in resting your head upon my shoulder. Inhale deeply and know that even if all others falter or abandon you, you will always find in me love peace, strength, and refuge. This is because I love you, care for you, and shall continue to fortify you in moments of sorrow and doubt. You will hear the gentle whispers of my Holy Spirit rekindling the flame in your soul. Dedicate time to me. I yearn to speak to you and reveal wonders that will strengthen you and your family. Gather your loved ones, clasp hands, seek forgiveness together, and pray earnestly to me. Afterward, share all that I have spoken to you and everything that I will do within you. Do so if you dare to believe, and you shall witness how I bless gatherings in my name.
Do you desire a heartfelt embrace? Come now. I long to enfold you and demonstrate my unwavering commitment to love you. I discern your thoughts and needs. You cannot hide from me. With me you shall achieve all things. Apart from me your flame shall dwindle. I hear you, and I answer you. I desire to help you break free from scarcity, to overcome illness. I love you, and I shall reaffirm it throughout the day, in dreams, right here. As my words nourish your mind, my spirit purifies your soul. Each morning, as you awaken, my glory surrounds you, invigorating you, clothing you, preparing you for the day's battles and embracing you gently, filling you with faith and security. Immerse your mind in holy words that will fortify you on your journey. Today, you anticipate a miracle. I can provide it now. Declare your belief. Let me see a powerful smile on your face, eyes brimming with faith, your demeanor resolute, imbued with strength and power. Arise, my champion. It is time to conquer. None of your prayers shall go unanswered. From the greatest request to the smallest, I shall respond, always with the best and most beautiful gifts. You and I are ascending to another level on earth. In your land of blessing, you walk by faith, not solely guided by your physical senses. Should you encounter troubles, do not fear. If you suffer losses and pain, do not be dismayed. I am here with my mighty power, defending you as a loving father would. I enfold you with tenderness and love. Your most potent weapon is your trust in my word, the assurance that your heavenly father values you and loves you profoundly, divinely, eternally, and supernaturally. There is no greater emotion than feeling so cherished and protected, even in the fiercest battles, when the enemy believes he has vanquished you. Even if you find yourself mired in the mud, you shall rise with tears in your eyes, but strengthened by the power of my Holy Spirit that fills your heart. Continue onward, you're doing admirably. Keep walking in faith, love, loyalty, hope, and sincerity, knowing that challenges await. A life of blessings, surrounded by my grace and goodness, is in store for you. I am delighted that each day you awaken with joy and determination, no longer burdened by memories of the past, free from thoughts of loneliness and sadness. I rejoice that daily you affirm for yourself that my power is real, and I can do even more with you if you persist in your beautiful faith. The most beautiful offering you can present to me is your heart, your surrender, your faith, the assurance in your soul that my response is secure, even if it remains unseen. You shall reach great heights, and you have access to my holy throne whenever you have need. I affirm it to you, I shall answer you. I love you, and in my holy hands, I shall protect you. As it was, is, and shall be. Now declare your belief. Amen. As our time together in this video comes to an end, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to you for joining me in this journey of faith and inspiration. Your presence here is not only appreciated, but also cherished. I hope that the words shared and the moments we've experienced together have brought light and encouragement to your path. If you found solace, strength, or inspiration in our time together, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Your subscription is more than just a click. It's a step towards building a community of faith, hope, and love. By subscribing, you become a part of this family, where we continue to share, learn, and grow in our spiritual journey together. Your support through subscribing helps this channel reach and uplift more souls, spreading the message of divine love and hope. So if you feel called to do so, please click on the subscribe button and join us in this ongoing journey of faith and discovery. Once again, thank you from the depths of my heart for being here.